Good morning and welcome to Saturday. We're going our separate ways today. Mm. I am off to Castle Ashby to walk around the garden with Vanessa and you. I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> I'm going to go and show Julianne how to do an oil change on her boat so she can do it herself. I organised this yesterday, it's like a last minute thing. So I didn't even check the weather. So I'm delighted to find it's not raining this morning. I'm just checking in on the YouTube messages and Pete said, can you have a go at the no need bread and let us know. So I made the soda bread last week, which, which was all right, but I've just Googled no need bread and this recipe's come up. I'm gonna give it a try. It'll be next week now, but just to let you know, that is coming. So I've arrived here, I'm just waiting for Vanessa, but there's the biggest black cloud above us. It looks like it's gonna pour. I don't know whether we should miss the gardens. Just go straight to the tea shop. While I'm waiting for Vanessa, just doing some more YouTube comments. I've been so lapsed with them this week. Sorry, my digital detox has really got in the way. Um, but Vicky is celebrating her birthday tomorrow. So happy birthday, Vicky. Today, I'm going to show Julianne how to do an oil change. Julianne's boat is a cruiser deck. So the first thing we have to do is remove all these boards so we've got good access. So basically, turn the tap on. Yeah. And then basically you'll feel the resistance. <laughs> it, it should feel that five litre thing. And then we know we're about there. Okay. And you've got too much in it at the moment anyway. Here's the oil filter which is down just below the um, air filter on this side of the engine and I'm just putting a little bit of old oil around the, the rubber ring before I put it back on so it doesn't snag it. There's a little thread, oh it's gone straight on, I don't know if you can, it's just there and that just goes on. These engines come out or are the same engines that were in 1970 Sherpa vans which is an old diesel the post office usually use a lot oh, of them okay. so there, were, there was a lot of these engines about at that time right anyway so that's oil filter done pumps turned off we'll clean all that up in a minute and then we just got to fill it up with oil i'm not going to risk changing the diesel filter because it's running all right at the moment not going to take a chance of doing that especially when julianne needs to run our engine quite a bit and her oil was way up here um and it's got to be basically in this preferably okay. nearer the top but okay. not over <laughs> this is vanessa we're here for a stroll <laughs> me and vanessa just spotted a whopper fish oh there's another one here are these one of those koi carp? yeah they look like it don't they yeah. not that i'm a goldfish expert <laughs> like it had got a bloody shark can you see they're huge they're whoppers we're actually going to go back in and see the meerkats <laughs> look at them they love that heat lamp so oil change done engine starts engine runs it's all good and no. very happy thank you glenn <laughs> so that's done for today anyway 